and you'll see I got some walls in there. And uh, one thing I like to do is I like to preview my work by, by hiding the JPEG information so I can see what my walls look like. So just come down to view, hide, uh, not hide walls here. I'm going to hide the import. And now I can see how that looks. That looks nice and clean. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to show the import. I'm going to save. I like to save often. And I'm also going to, at this point, I'm going to lock down my walls. So if I go edit lock walls, that prevents me from accidentally grabbing a wall and moving it. You notice I can't do that right now as I'm planning. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of uh, elements into this room. Uh, you'll notice that this floor plan that we got of this home actually has a lot of information in it. It has some doors and some windows that we'll definitely want to add and stairs. Those are what we call structural items. Uh, but it also has other elements like furniture and um, some beds. And I don't recommend that you do that. Uh, part of the appeal of Icovia to a potential buyer is they can lay it out the way they want. So let them select the furniture that they want to plan. I wouldn't recommend you put that into uh, the plan when you're creating it. So we're going to come over here now and we're going to scroll through uh, the thousands of icons available to you. And we're going to come down to structural. And doors is the default one. So I'm going to grab a door. I'm going to bring it out here. And you'll notice when I'm dragging it around, it will snap right to any of the walls. So I'm going to snap this right to that wall. I'm going to resize it a little bit to make sure it fits. And you'll notice I can resize it with that handle or I can come up here and change the dimensions and it'll resize on the fly. And in this case, I'm also going to rotate it so that it matches that wall nicely. Once I get a door down that I like, I can easily uh, drag in more doors or I can uh, clone that door, which creates a duplicate of it. And I can drag that around and I can continue to move about and drop all my walls. Uh, windows works the exact same way, um, but sometimes your walls will hide where the windows are. So again, you can come in here and you can say hide the walls. And I can see where those windows are. I'll grab one window. And even though you can't see the walls, the windows still snap to it. So I'm going to drop that in there. And then I'm just going to clone it. I'm going to drop that in there. And that one's smaller, so... I'm going to come in and I'm going to change that to something smaller and clone it. And again, you can do this as precise as you want, uh, or you can just leave it to be a representation of the floor plan. I'm going to show the walls now, and you're going to see that, that will, those line up nicely. Um, I can also add in dimension information that will stay with the plan if you want. It lets people see some of the distances. Um, we don't usually leave those on the plan. Um, and uh, you can also add text. So I'm going to show, uh, let's zoom in here and create some text. So I'm not going to bother putting in the uh, uh, measurements other than feet and inches. And I see that this is 11 2 by 10 feet. So I'm going to type in 11 feet 2 inches by 10 feet. And that looks a little bigger, so I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to drop my font down. And I can click and drag that up, and I can easily add my text. Um, the uh, one other feature I want to show you, I'm, I'm going to save again. Uh, you know, as you can see through the process of scrolling through all these icons and drawing walls and adding text, I can recreate this entire floor plan. But uh, one other nice feature of Icovia is, if you'll notice, this is the kitchen area. I did, I, I did see on this uh, listing that we had that there was uh, a nice picture of this kitchen that I think we've already loaded up. And I want to include that as a part of the floor plan. So again, I'm going to click on this and I'm more on a, a Macintosh here. So you control click to get this on a PC or a Windows machine. You just right click and you'll get the same menus. You can just click on copy image address. And now we're going to go back to Icovia. So I can drop the camera in and uh, about from where I think the angle is. and and when I click on the icon, it gives me some properties over here. Uh, one that's real interesting is I can click on this, which will change the viewing angle, which gives the potential buyer a, sort of an idea of where the camera is and what direction it's pointing in. And then I'm going to paste in the URL of the image we just copied. And to make sure it's the right one, I click on preview and it'll show that. What that will do, and I'll demonstrate this in a minute, but what that'll do is when we publish this plan, 
whenever a user clicks on that camera icon, it'll pop up that window, which is a nice feature. I'm going to save this. Um, as I said, there's a lot more you can do. You can add more flooring information. You can colorize the plan. You can add more text and dimensions. Um, but I want to show you uh, one other feature um, before I then go offline and draw the rest of the plan. Icobi allows you to create multiple floors in one property. And you can either just start with a brand new floor by going to the plan menu and saying new plan. Or you could copy plan and it'll copy the full outline of that floor. And oftentimes homes have the same footprint on all their floors and you won't have to redraw that. And you just save that as uh, the, the name of your next floor and it'll appear up here in your drop down menu. Okay, so um, here we go. We, we just jumped to a completed plan. Uh, it didn't take us very long to do this. Uh, the whole plan drawing time was probably about 15 minutes. Pretty simple plan. Um, but you'll notice we did a couple of things here that can make the plans jump out. Um, we added some flooring and colorized it, uh, just create some differentiation between the rooms. Um, normally I would also label the rooms. Um, also added some plants. You'll notice under uh, some of our uh, menus over here we have uh, landscaping items. Um, just some stuff to make it jump out a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want the plan to get too big, but it does add a little bit of life to the plan.